Welcome back to round two. Marquette versus Michigan State with a spot in the Sweet 16 on the line. Hello everyone, I'm Kristen Parisi alongside John Lauzi and John, we all know the storylines coming into this one. Tom Izzo versus Shaka Smart, Joey Hauser going up against his old team. But the biggest thing for Marquette is Michigan State doesn't need to score a lot of points to win, but Marquette likes that fast fast rhythm. So how important is it going to be for Marquette to establish their rhythm early on? It's going to be huge. You're going against the Michigan State team from the Big Ten. They play very high tempo, good defensive defensive games for today. For both teams, it's going to be really important. For, but for Marquette, to your point, establishing their offense early, setting the pace will be big. And, you know, Marquette, they might have to go down into the depth of their rotation again because Tyler Kolek, he, has, he is dealing with that thumb injury still. He said yesterday during media availability that he's all good, he'll be ready to go. Nothing will keep that guy, that man out. He's the he's a, he's a toughness part of this Marquette team. But for Marquette, really important to get the scoring going. You're going to need some of that depth and that uh, bench prop perhaps as well. Yeah, you said a lot about their depth and their bench. I mean, David Joplin and Chase Ross were huge in the game against Vermont. So how big is their depth going to be today? It's going to be huge. I mean, you're going against a veteran Michigan State team who has a couple good good players off the bench. They also lead with their starting five. For Marquette, you have to replicate what they did on Friday, Kristen. You know, when Kolek wasn't able to have his best productive game scoring-wise, you leaned on to the rest of the roster. And for Marquette, if they want to go into the Sweet 16 and back to New York, they're going to have to rely on David Joplin, Sean Jones, Ben Gold, and Chase Ross. Yeah, and it's going to be big if they want to go back to New York and in the Sweet 16. But the biggest thing for Marquette is their defensive presence, their defensive identity. But rebounding is going to be huge. I mean, going Oso Iguodaro and Omax down low against Joey Hauser. So how important is it going to be to grab every single rebound that they can get? Oh, it's going to be huge. You're talking about two forwards of Michigan State and Malik Hall. And then you also have Joey Hauser, two good forwards. going to have a good presence underneath. But for Marquette, just have to rely on Omax and Oso. All right, so quickly here, how do you think this game's going to play out? I have Marquette winning. It's going to be a close one, but I think Marquette will be able to come and go back to New York. Well, we'll see if Marquette can go back to New York and back into the Sweet 16, but keep it here, MU Wire Sports on Twitter and MU Radio for live updates throughout the game. Stay here for our takeaways after. For John Leuzzi, I'm Kristen Parisi. Enjoy the game, Marquette.